Now, when's the last time you saw one of these things? That's right, this is a GE. And for some reason, the lettering looks pink on the camera, even though it's definitely red. I don't know if that's just the LCD or if it's going to look like that in the final product. But that's just weird. This is a model number 7-4607WHA. Made in Malaysia. I think the, there's supposed to be something there, like a date code, but it's actually up there. And a CSA certification. I think what they officially call this is the P Jammer. I guess that's supposed to be a play on play on pajama and jammer. Is it's a clock radio? I don't know. It's actually uh, the plastic is fracturing, unfortunately. There's what I paid for it. I would not have paid more because, really, quite frankly, I don't need something like this. And it just strikes me as being, you know, cheap 1980s, 1990s crap. Who doesn't want a clock that's got hot pink, bright green? Gray, it's just got that 1980, late 1980s, early 1990s style to it, which I think is somewhat awesome. Let's go ahead and have a listen to the radio. It does actually work. And it gets impressively loud. It doesn't seem to tune very well, though. Les gens des pionniers de rock progressif italien. Ah, on est presque à la fin des années 70. C'est Banco de Lucio. Intéressé par rapport à ça. Here, two, two figure eight. Yeah, figure eight, good girl. Taught him to spin around was the first trick. Took took me a day. Two. <laughs> what station is that? I'm turn that off before I get my video muted. From Miguel and Frank Napolitano from Mortgage Brokers. Visibilité à super écran. Madame Dufour mangeait au restaurant quand tout à coup. Great day to be alive, Travis Tritt. Uh, today's best country, Country 101. Brett Kissel. Yeah, it looks like this is a little off. And Country Club members. Oh, we've got our own jazz station. Did you know that? <laughs> I don't think that's what that actually is, but they seem to be playing jazz music every single time I'm doing a band scan. Alright, let's switch it to AM and see what happens. Or are you gonna get trashy reception? That's well, kind of picking something up there. Yeah, there's something. Lots of popping going on. If ever since researchers started to look at the effects of video games, there's never been a shortage. We deliver a full pack of amazing razors for just a few bucks, so you can change. Yeah, it is picking up a little bit of other stations from other areas. Not much. Donald Trump reason fighting the fight. There's a political station over there. But anyways, here's your radio. Let's go ahead and listen to the alarm now. I 
that turns the radio on for a bit. Either way, there's your clock, really. There's your, there's actually the switch. Another thing that had happened to came with its band switch was this thing called bed buds, and I'd imagine these are just earphones, and this is the uh, storage loop for them. I'm very glad I didn't get these because there's no doubt in my mind that they would be crusty and that's just disgusting. And what's even more disgusting is the thought of putting something that's been in somebody else's ear into my ear. Oh, that's horrible. I need ear bleach. <laughs> even disgusting the thought. But something interesting that it came with is this. An older style Ever ready battery. Look at that. I think they're gold and black nowadays, but this is just, this is old school. It's old school enough that I believe it doesn't actually have an expiry date on it. Makes an interesting addition to my collection of dead batteries. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below. And uh, this is CP666 signing off. I hope to see you next time. Till then.